God bless you. Hello, Bishop Wooden here. And uh, I want to talk to you. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. I need you to listen to me today. Uh, tonight's service is going to be different. Um, and, and, but it's going to be as, as important of a service as we've had. Now, I am concerned uh, about the uh, number of people who, especially our people, especially our males, who are vulnerable to some of these, what I call, sideshow teachings, where people uh, uh, come up with these erroneous doctrines uh, that lead us to believe that we are the original Hebrews, uh, that we are the, the, the five percenters or this percenter or that percenter. And, uh, uh, and, and, and I really don't give these doctrines any uh, credence whatsoever. But when people began to question the correctness and the authenticity of the name of Jesus because someone have pulled them to the side and given them a little etymology, uh, uh, the teaching of languages and letters and names and when we got them and how that we got them and they know how to twist it and cause people to do something that I personally thought uh, think is unthinkable especially in the African-American community. Let me be a little racial with this. Not racist, but racial. It bothers me how easy it is for certain members of our community, uh, many of our men, to easily doubt the Bible. Now, the Bible warns against silly women laden with sin. Well, I tell you, we got silly, that is, gullible men who are so easy to believe what amounts to be garbage. So tonight we're going to talk about the name of Jesus. Matthew 1, 21 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. But I want to talk to you tonight not about the person of Christ, who was the Messiah, but the name Jesus, how we got the name Jesus. I want to talk about the great vowel shift that took place. I want to talk about what took place in, in, in 1524. I want to talk to you about the, the role that the letter I played, the sounds that the letter I uh, played and how we uh, got the letter I and when we got the last uh, uh, letter added to the alphabet, the letter J. I want to talk to you about how we got the name Jesus. I want to talk about how the scripture was translated uh, from the Hebrew Aramaic uh, to the Greek and from the Greek to the Latin and from the Latin uh, to the English and how we have this precious name that is above every name this precious name that at his name, the name Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and things underneath the earth, and how every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The fact that there is no other name given among men under the heavens whereby we must be saved. Come out tonight. Tell your friends, if you have questions, send them in. The information is right, uh, right here. But we'll probably answer your questions. One of our more scholarly members will be assisting me in this presentation tonight. I'm honored to defend the name Jesus. And for those of you who attack the name, when you attack the name, you attack the person. And uh, Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father, he's the only Savior. And I want to close this by saying it is appropriate. I'll show you through the study of etymology, not theology, but uh, the, the, the development of the word, the etymological development, the changes that took place, to how we arrived with this beautiful, beautiful word, how we got the, the even the, the letter J, the role that the name Jesus plays 
in history and it's going to bless you real good. You'll be armed with the facts. You'll have things that you can review. We're going to lay it out there in plain language and we're going to teach it to you. Come uh, mothers, mothers, bring your teenage sons. Uh, fathers, bring your daughters. Husband, bring your wife. Wife, bring your husband. Come and, and, and take notes. It won't, the service will not be jubilistic tonight. I don't anticipate shouting, but we may shout. You never know what happens when you start talking about the name Jesus. But I'll tell you this. When you leave, you won't leave vulnerable to someone come uh, coming up to you saying, well, the letter J wasn't in the alphabet until uh, a certain time. Well, uh, there were no letters at a certain time. <laughs> language, uh, uh, there is a difference between spoken languages and when languages was written. And when one language is translated to another, transliterated to another, what happens? What happens in that process? All people today do not speak English. And so what happens uh, uh, to those people who use their language and words in their language to describe the Messiah? What does those words sound like? So my friends, there's no confusion. Those of us who serve Jesus, who love that name, praise the Lord. I want to tell you, by the time we're finished tonight, you're going to love the name more. I'm not doubting about the way. I'm walking in the light. Holiness is right. And Jesus is Lord. I'll see you tonight.